dried up riverbeds and other evidence imply that Mars once had enough water to fill a global ocean at least 600 meters deep and together with a thick atmosphere of carbon dioxide that kept the planet warm enough for the water to be liquid. But the planet is now very dry and has a thin atmosphere. There have recently been some scientists that have proposed that the red planet lost its water and CO2 to space. But not very much. Now, the European Space Agency's Mars Express spacecraft has revealed that the rate of loss is much lower than previously thought. Its measurements suggest the whole planet loses only about 20 grams per second of oxygen and CO2 to space, if that. Only about 1% of the rate inferred from earlier studies. If this rate has held steady over Mars history, it would have removed just a few centimeters of water and a thousandth of the original CO2. Is the CO2 in the water still present and hidden somewhere on Mars? Probably, and it's probably underground. And yes, water is alive. Water is life. Water is a form of light. That's why God gave us the rainbow. Water and light together. Anyway, there's probably there's 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 water on Mars. And Mars is waking up. If water is there, the scientists think we'll put all ideas about human missions to Mars on a completely different level. It's not only water to support astronauts, but also a potential fuel and more perhaps. Hydrogen, oxygen for rocket fuel can be reduced from water energy. Yes, this is a real, real possibility. And more evidence, Mars craters ancient lake beds or lakes may have been habitable. Clay encrusted boulders recently discovered on Mars are evidence of ancient and perhaps once habitable lakes. A new study finds the high resolution imaging experiment H-I-R-I-S-E on NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbital MRO has spotted house-sized rocks in the 154 kilometer wide Holden Crater. The blocks which had never before been seen on Mars probably formed in the impact that created the crater. A spectrometer or MRO called CRISM discovered that the rocks are covered by layers of fine sediments and clay which forms through prolonged contact with water. The observations suggest that at two different times in the Red Planet's early history, Holden Crater was home to a lake. This points to conditions in early Mars history that were really quite different, remarkably so, from what we see today, says study leader author and HIRISE co-investigator John Grant the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. The first lake probably lasted for thousands of years before drying up. Then, water from a network of large channels filled the surrounding landings, landscape. Initially, the rim of Holden Crater functioned like a dam to prevent outside water 
from pouring into its interior. Eventually, the water breached the crater rim. Anyway, yes, the crater's buried history makes it a good place to hunt for clues about Mars' watery past. Is Mars coming alive? Yes. Mars is part of the future.